Thank you. Thank you. Woman's favorite thing to do, getting on the scale. There's a little arm that is doing the testing. Hey, Grumpy Farmer. I don't just eat Brussels sprouts and pancakes with peanut butter. With all of the beauty shops closed, Bridget was feeling left out, so I did her hair tonight. Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel. Meg Cockrell here, and I realize it has been a little bit since I have put a video out, so I wanted to update you what I've been doing during quarantine, give you a quick little overview of what my past week has held, and then stay tuned till the end because I have very exciting news. Since we got our grain yesterday, we have to now take corn back to Santerra for our grain bank. So we are bringing the gravity wagon over, checking tires, load that up, and head that way. Well, while that is filling, I am going to eat a quick little snack. And then we will take this corn over to Santerra. So we have a green bank there. I kind of mentioned that last video that that Santerra is the co-op that we use. So all of the corn from the farm we use in our grain that we give to the cows. Uh, yeah, that is fake news. That is not what I meant. <laughs> what I meant to say is that all of the corn in our grain is from the farm. Okay, back to watching. So we're just kind of replenishing that for them and then um, kind of continue on with our day. Woman's favorite thing to do, getting on the scale. That's how it sounds when I get on mine. <laughs> so there's going to be a little arm. I can't maybe see it. That'll test the corn. And they are testing for moisture, correct? Just moisture, Ross? Uh, no, moisture, test weight, foreign material. Test weight, foreign material, moisture. There's a little arm that is doing the testing. the ticket and our empty weight we're on the scales again and then we'll head back to the farm with an empty wagon one of the projects that i wanted to work on is stacking all that wood over here and just cleaning up the concrete pad so just kind of condensing it a little bit we have an outdoor wood burner that we heat our house with during the winter it's really really nice it is probably the coziest heat i've ever experienced I cleaned up two of the pallets there, kind of condensed that a little bit. Have all the smaller kindling wood closest to the wood burner for bonfires or to start this in the winter. That looks a little junky still, but it's all right. And then that big pile is gone. I feel good and accomplished with that project. Someone is very sleepy. There's six. I think that little white spot on her belly is so cute. Her mama has it too. All right, so just checking on Bridget. Make sure she has enough hay. <laughs> She's like staring out. I'm gonna go outside. I wanted to take a couple of minutes and just say a big thank you to a couple of people. The first one is the Grumpy Farmer. 
and the second one is Vser Cattle Co. They both gave me very, very nice shout outs and I saw a lot of their subscribers come my way. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate the kind words you said and the support for my channel. If you guys haven't checked out either of their channel, please do so. Yes, good stuff. Check them out and thank you. The girls and calves are loving the sunshine. It's a beautiful day, 50 degrees. Thought I'd let them out, stretch their legs a bit. Give us some time to clean up the barn. Before. Looks so much better. Just we'll add new fodder to it. Then it'll be really nice. Things are getting real with all of the beauty shops closed. Bridget was feeling left out, so I did her hair tonight. I think she looks pretty. She's about to be a new mom, so just wanted to pamper her a little bit. What do you guys think? Well, it is Friday and it is my first day out doing official business of course i had to run to the grocery store and um, a few other little quick errands like that and it's just been interesting for me to see how other people are reacting or handling this um, kind of been isolated on the farm so this is like i said first kind of uh, experience being out and about and some people are so gracious so understanding and patient and you know definitely keeping their distance but friendly and then others they're miserable and it's sad to me that you know i just keep thinking that we're all in this together we're all being inconvenienced in some way shape or form um it's not an ideal situation but there are so many people that have it far worse than we do. Um, other countries that are in worse shape than we are outside of coronavirus, but um, even with within this pandemic going on. And I just, you know, I encourage you not to judge people. Everybody is going to go through this and experience it in a different way, but try, try to show a little grace to each other. Um, you know, like I said, as a society, we have so much to be grateful for. And I encourage you guys to, right now in the comments, comment three things that you're grateful for. I will start, I'm going to say doctors and nurses. They are on the front line of this and I am so grateful for them. Um, two, I am thankful for the farm. It has been a wonderful place to be able to stretch my legs, to get outside, be active still. And thirdly, it is 55 degrees in Ohio. The sun is shining. That's awesome to me. So three things, done with this rant. There's always one problem, child. Ruins it for everybody. Let's go, Kate. It is officially spring. It is beautiful and I'm doing one of my favorite things. Opening the windows. Let that fresh air in. Another thing that we love to do when it's warm is smoke meat. We have some ribs on there. These are pork. So we raised pigs this past fall and the front one is ours. The back one is from the store. So, a little size difference there for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick little overview of what I've been doing this past week. And now for the exciting news. So, we have been back on calf watch. Uh, the Bridget, number 17, she was the last two calf. And we have another heifer on the farm. <laughs> Bridget is a first time mom. And I have been calling her the new calf, Coratina, because of the quarantine. <laughs> I think it's funny. Mama eating? Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been up to this past week, meeting the new calf, 
hanging out here with us on the farm. Um, if you did, don't forget to give that video a big old thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. That way my videos can get out to more. If you are enjoying the content, others can too. So until the next video, we'll see you then.